So, uh, uh, this is every hunter's quandary. Is that the right word? I think so. Uh, when you've just shot an awesome animal, sorry, I'm getting messages. When you just shot an awesome animal, and there he is, giraffe. Uh, I'm amazed. Sorry about the gruesome, but one arrow. He ran, I guess, around, uh, I don't know, 60, 70 yards, maybe, tops. And I'm over the moon. But the hard task now is, uh, is getting this huge, I'm holding his feet so I can actually um, try and roll him over. He doesn't get all rigor mortis on us. Uh, get this huge thing first to get some photos and uh, and then to try and get all the meat sorted out and while I'm doing this this is why I say it's every hunter's quandary I'm over the moon and, and I'm excited it's it's great I don't like to kill an animal but it's hunting I know that the money goes for a good cause and uh, helps to preserve this farm and keep the remaining giraffe uh, healthy and all the other animals as well. But while I'm here, uh, if you can see this, there's all his mates. They never really left, uh, which is interesting. Um, but as I say, it, it kind of makes you feel a bit sad as well. Uh, always sad when an animal dies, but it was ethical and it's for the right reasons. So. Um, yeah, I enjoy the sport and I hope everyone who's watching this does too and there's no dumbass comments. Anyway, uh, let me tell you what I used here. So it's a Hoyt carbon spider, uh, 80 pounds, but it is max pull at about 77 or 78, I think. The arrows, which I don't have with me because they are back there where I started stalking him, are grizzly stick. Uh, 175 spine and they gave me the full length so they were like 31 inches or something and I used VPA uh, 300 grain broadheads I haven't found the arrow yet but um, it, it it all it, the whole total weight was 965 grains and uh, the bow was shooting at 208 feet per second well I frontal shot as you've seen and the arrow penetrated I'd say halfway about there so 15 inches uh, but it definitely got lung and I think heart as well because there was immediate blood and I can see there's uh, some pink frothy stuff there so it did a good job uh, as I said I'd shout out to VPA broadheads not just the heavy ones but the light ones which I'll be using uh, later on in this hunt for other animals um, They are built like tanks and they clearly do the job So uh, anyone who's going on a giraffe hunt or wants to find out about it Feel free to I can see the giraffe in the background there That's pretty sad anyway This guy apparently was a bit of a bully So I'm told that's what they always say when they want you to hunt something, right? Anyway, um, uh, anyone who wants to do a giraffe hunt and find out what I used and how I did it all, uh, just drop a comment and I'll tell you everything I can. It, uh, it never pans out how you expect it to normally, but um, I actually have put the heavy arrows away and we were heading off to a hide to do a bit of hunting for other planes game. And the giraffe right there in the open so jumped out switched my arrows changed the sight which i've done another video about the sight tape and put on a stalk and i guess from where i started probably about a man i work in meters and kilometers when i'm doing distances so i'd say just under a mile maybe so not too far um and they're pretty inquisitive so what i did was i kind of zigzagged and didn't head straight for them and every time I noticed when I hunkered down to try and move they uh, they sort of peered at me and, and walked a bit closer um, and then I used that to my advantage I went and 
I know they could see me, there's, there's no hiding. So I went ahead behind a little bush and hung it into a little ball and sure as nuts they came pretty close. I got to about 30, 31 yards I think I ranged them but there were a lot of bushes and I couldn't take the shot. And he actually, this big guy, turned around and started walking away and I thought oh, that's it, they, they're done. And he went around a thicket of trees and stuff, did a 180 and came straight back towards me in fact. I got a little nervous, I thought maybe he's had enough of me and he was going to try and stomp me. But uh, I stood my ground, arranged him once at 50 and then again at 41 and then the next thing he was stopped and that was at 36. So I took the shot at 36 yards and as I say, one arrow and he ran not more, not more than 80, 80 yards, if that. Yeah, anyway. I'll stop blabbing on and leave you with a, a view of these guys. And uh, yeah, more giraffe to hunt. <laughs>